happy Friday, happy Friday. Like it a great weekend, y'all. No drama and no unnecessary stuff. That's what I'm gonna say. Remember, still try to be safe. I don't care how much has died down since 2020. Take it easy, homes. Especially black folks. Everybody seems like they always want to party, party, party. Like it's every day is a celebration. Like, do y'all not know what's going on in the world? It's okay to find some happiness and, and have moments of joy and happiness, but when y'all be turning up and acting like everything is all good, acting like you have no worries, that's concerning. So, be careful. Especially to you youngsters, too. Don't be out here doing like John Morant, showing flashing guns, trying to act all tough with your homeboys. Just enjoy life. Try to be peaceful and harmonious. Work on surviving. Not crashing out. But happy Friday. Um, once again, rest, to, rest in peace to Young Dolph. I mean, if he is, in fact, passed away, still a lot of weird things going floating on, floating around this Dolph case. And allegedly, I'm going to say allegedly first, this is all fair use, everybody, YouTube. Everything I say in this video is allegedly. Now, we are aware that the gentleman that was arrested for being involved in Dolph's murder had just got granted bond. It's like $90,000 bond. And supposedly Dolph's family agreed to this. So they were in agreement of this man getting granted a bond. Now who in, in Dolph's family agreed? I don't know. I don't know if it's his mom, maybe Mia. You know, his brother, wherever he is. I, yeah, I don't know. But it's strange how this guy gets bail. Maybe he gave the law some information, information that they wanted to hear or needed to know. And maybe he was just someone. I, don't, I mean, it's, it's clear that he, he wasn't the shooter or else he would still be in custody. But it's possible that he supposedly um, was involved in orchestrating the hit for Dolph. But let's go back to the Makitas. Makitas, the, the, the day that Dolph was killed. Now, Maurice, Raven's dad, Mr. I just pulled up. He arrived at the scene. And according to Raven, in Raven's voice, well, I don't know. My dad just, he called me like right after it happened. He had just pulled up and he said that he didn't even know it was Darby. You know, he just knew somebody was shot. So Raven, your dad know that Dolph was there at that shop? He didn't know who he was. He just he just called me and he just said that, you know, somebody got shot at the cookie got killed at the cookie shop. And then next thing you know I hear, stay with me, stay with me, Dolph, stay with me, Dolph. Oh, stay with me, brother. Oh, I thought it was my dad, but I thought it was him. I'm sorry, but because he was so close to the phone. So now, now answer this for me, Miss Raven. Doesn't Dolph have custom vehicles that have custom wraps on them? As a matter of fact, isn't Dolph like the only person in Memphis who had those vehicles? The camouflage? 
You mean to tell me your dad don't didn't recognize that vehicle there when he just pulled up? I just pulled up. And your dad said, on an interview, on TV, with a camera on him, that he didn't know it was Dolph. He didn't know what had happened. And he said, as a matter of fact, I, I thought I thought that the, the man that was banging on the window was the shooter. He shot the shot himself. So, Maurice, if you arrive to your shop not noticing Dolph's car parked right there, that this camouflage Lamborghini, and you arrive and you don't notice Dolph's dead body right there at Makita's, which is another suspect thing. You didn't notice Dolph or you didn't even care to even see who that whose body that was. You just so you didn't see the camouflage vehicle right in front parked right in front of your shop and you didn't see Dolph's body right there. But you saw Dolph's brother banging on the window upset at what had happened. And you tell the media the news person that you thought he was the shooter for a moment. So, Maurice, why weren't you scared then? Why weren't you... If you felt like this guy was the one that killed a person there, or, or let's say if he really if he really wants to make us think that he really didn't see that dead body right there, which is his story so contradicting, then why wouldn't you feel in fear of your life that the guy that was in the shop was going to probably shoot you too after he didn't shot up your your shop that don't even make sense bruh and then raven like they so stupid for even allowing her to even speak you know and it's like she all these interviews and stuff she's been going on all these you know with all these bloggers and podcasts it's like what is going on why would you even put yourself in the situation? Because now you're exposing to us the lies about the case, about what really happened. Your dad pulls up. He doesn't see the shooter scurrying off because she's. It, the word has it, allegedly, YouTube, allegedly, word has it, Maurice pulled up right, at the, right as the guys were pulling off. So he didn't notice them. Then he didn't notice this dead body right here, right in front of in his shop right at the front entrance and then also he didn't notice Dolph's car, he didn't notice that Lamborghini car or it didn't dawn on him like oh, that looks like Dolph's car is he, is he in there? oh, please don't tell me this is Dolph honestly, honestly not one tear shed from any of y'all then all of a sudden y'all boosting up Makita's y'all using that Dolph's death to to uh, boost up y'all's business. Come on, bro. Like, how stupid do y'all think we are? Maurice did not notice a body there. Maurice didn't notice Dolph's car parked right there. And the person that was in the, the shop, Dolph's brother, you assumed he was the shooter. You assumed he shot up the shop. But you weren't threatened by that. You still went on in there like, hey, hey how's everybody? Everybody all right? Everybody good? You good, sir? I, I see you got the gun, man. You banging on the way. You, you all right, sir? Oh, okay, all right. Not even noticing the body. You checking on the employees. All right, everybody got the shop. Everybody got the shop. You said nothing about the body. It was like you just smooth skipped over acknowledging that a dead body was in your shop, sir. You smooth skipped over acknowledging that Dolph's car was parked in front of your shop, sir. You smooth didn't acknowledge that you saw a car pull it off. Allegedly. Supposedly. Come on, man. Y'all gotta see the lies. We don't know the truth. We we, we may not know we might not know the truth. So, let's not even focus on what the real truth is behind what happened. Let's just focus on the lies. Don't be fooled by the lies. Don't believe the lies that they are telling you. 
because we know it was staged. That was a staged situation. There's no way uh, uh, one guy has a Draco and another guy has a pistol, and the only shattered glass you see is the bottom, at the bottom half. A little bit of glass shot out. And Dolph's arm ends up outside of the shop. If they're shooting from the outside in, how does Dolph's body pretty much get planted right at the window? You would think he would get shot back, and then his body will be more on the inside of the shop to where you can't even see it from the outside of the shop. Come on, bruh. Hey, bruh. Y'all better stay awake, bro. Don't fall for the okie doke. Raven, Maurice, all these goofies out here, man. They all are in on the play. They, they've been running a play on us with this Dolph stuff. You know, maybe Dolph allegedly faked his death or maybe Dolph was already dead and they placed his body there. That's why there was no blood there. And maybe they uh, staged that to make it look like that's what happened when something had already happened. 